Boom, Peace Central. What's up, guys? Well, it's Sunday, early in the morning, like five o'clock, probably. Oh, trying to get on these customs. Yeah, I've been working, working, working. Golly, man. Hard to get anything done. I told you I've started with some Mustangs. <laughs> so I'm taking this beauty. She's already good looking, but shoot, you ain't seen nothing. Just wait. Um, doing three of them. One's for a sticker drawing. Uh, and one, Miniature Mustangs already contacted me when I mentioned it last time. I said, I want one. Don't even know what it is. And, uh, well, I think I told y'all it'll have the monster, uh, you know, the Hoonigan. It, it's, it's not the Mustang, you know, it's not um ken blocks but it's it's a cool looking one anyway um but anyway uh so one of them will be for him and then i got one extra um but anyway trying to get those done but oh my gosh man I, oh god my neck what i decided to do to him is taking a lot of work i mean just on the bodies but you know it is what it is it'll look pretty cool but anyway i want to get um this drawing done for the Kawabuga. Kawabuga. And that's first place, second place. And there wasn't a third place, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one in there. I got an extra one of these. Um I actually believe my buddy Diecast Clown sent me one. I haven't opened his box yet. I'm behind on boxes, guys. But um so I'm pretty sure I got one from him. So this is an extra that uh I'll just give to one of you guys. And um now I'll probably open the box and be wrong, but whatever. It's all good. I actually have two extra of those. I bought I bought some castings from uh, Black Wolf Customs. He was the one I was talking about. I wasn't sure was going to send them because he just kind of just stopped all communication. But like I told you guys, I was hoping nothing was wrong with him. Well, I guess he had COVID. <laughs> Pretty good reason to stop communicating, huh? And, uh. But yeah, he, he got back to me a week or so later and shipped them off to me. And uh, maybe we'll go through some of those pretty soon, but they're kind of old. Boxes are terrible. The blisters are all scratched up. Um, but this was new he got. But anyway, um, let's get the drawing done and I'll show you some things. Maybe open a couple of these boxes. I got one in for Mr. Deavers and Mini Stangs also. I still haven't got Tutman's done. But anyway, let's get this drawing knocked out. See who's going to get her. And uh, we'll go from there. Same number wheel. I was going to download an app, but it has ads too. I think the only way to get away from ads is to pay these guys. And it's ridiculous because it never works like that. They want to continually charge you. And I'm not going to keep paying them to spin some damn wheel. Um, but anyway, 1 to 50 is pulled up, and uh, let's see who's going to get it first place. Boom. Good luck to all you guys. I know Mondo really wants it. He's a Volkswagen guy. Number three, Mr. Rudy Herrera. Dang, sorry, Mondo. I was kind of rooting for you because I know you're a Mustang guy. First. Number three. Herrera. Right on. Congrats, Mr. Herrera. The Cowabugga. She's a beauty, man. I, like I said, I can't believe what it's going for now. Um, it's up there, but whatever, you know. And, um, Mondo, sorry, man. I know you wanted that. But like I told you, I'm clearing out a bunch of my Hot Wheels and stuff. And you said, sure, I'll take some. I believe I've seen a comment somewhere. Um, I'm a Volkswagen guy. I do have a bunch of Volkswagens. Um, uh, so I'll probably send those to you. Um, you may already have them. You may not. But, um, they're just different Volkswagen castings. Um, so when I get those down, I'll just make sure that any Volkswagens go to you. And also, I got this. I don't really, it was an extra he hooked me up with. I like it and all on um, Black Wolf Customs. Um, but uh, 
I don't really, it ain't a big thing, but check that out. You know, he gave it to me extra in the order. Appreciate that. But uh, like I said, I bought these things so I can, you know, I can do what I want with them. And I'm sure he doesn't care if I pass it on. So Mondo, I don't know if that's up your alley, but I don't really, I'm kind of limiting what I'm collecting on these things because I don't really have a lot of places to put them. So if you like that, let me know. I'll save that for you. Um, and we'll go from there. But, uh, just another little deal. Check that out. Got that for Diecast Clown. See the case? They're just terrible. I don't know who took care of them. I think uh, Black Wolf Customs bought a batch of cars from somebody else. So, um, yeah, they're rough. But the car still looks good. So, but if I was him, I'd open it because I'm opening mine. I'll show them later. But And getting that plastic off of there. Probably put them in display cases or something because the boxes are terrible. I mean, they're terrible. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's, you know, Diecast Clown. He's a Grand National fan, which they were always good looking cars. The Regal, the Olds, all of them back then, that body style was always a cool looking one, but the Grand National was the best. Well, I guess some people would go back and forth, but I thought it was the best out of that. Anyway, um, so again, sorry, Mondo. I know you're a Volkswagen guy, but, um, you got it, Mr. Herrera. She's a beauty. It's not a Hewitt Custom, but it's still a beauty. Now let's see who's going to get this. Maybe you'll luck out on that, Mondo. Boom. Thirty-eight. Dang, buddy. I ain't sent your package off. Lucky, Mr. Keebler. Dude, you're scoring. See? All that weight. All that weight. And now it's you're, you're, you're cashing in. Well, I don't know if you're cashing in, but you're finally getting some stuff. Mr. Keebler. That is awesome, guys. We got to congratulate Mr. Keebler again. Check it out, buddy. Got the javelin. Don't know if you already have it. You may have... Uh, passed on it i don't know but check that out and i haven't shipped your box off yet so that's cool um i'll add that to it check that out buddy scored darn yeah he's been missing a lot <laughs> anyway well, i'm sorry to everybody else guys um let's see who's gonna get that fanta it's a cool little car funny cars i like all them funny cars oh well, mondo maybe you'll get a Funny car. I mean, I know you're a Volkswagen guy, so it really doesn't matter at this point, I guess. 44. Burn C. <laughs> Third place. Number 44. Burn C. All right, guys. Burn C. Don't know if you have it or not, but hey, it's another funny car, buddy. Here we go. And, uh, Congratulations. Again, sorry to everybody else, man. I know how it goes. I'm always like, I don't know. But there we go. Mr. Herrera, you got the Cowabunga. And uh, Mr. Keebler, scored yourself the Javelin. That's sweet. And then Fernsey. Got you a funny car I threw in at the end. And uh, there we go. I have another one of these javelins I'll probably put up with the custom I'm working on in second place or something when uh, I get done with it. The charger, that I got it done, but that didn't work out. Uh, Diecast Clown sent me a message as soon as I spoke about it and said, I want that car sight unseen. So he already bought it. And uh, which some of you guys do that, but there's what she looked like. Like I said, I dropped her down. Instead of you know, I just put her, like I told you, I could have went lower, but I was looking for a certain stance, kind of the hot wad style, and I wanted the pipes, and the pipes are up. See, they're almost flush with the bottom of the car because I didn't want them down looking stupid, so I notched the body, and I put the pipes up, and I, I made my own base, and I recessed my base up in there. 
So if you was to take it off, you'd see there's like a three thirty seconds gap where the where the base is up in there. So that gave me room to notch out the bottom of the fender and put my pipe right up in there. Looks pretty cool, I think. He likes the four cell sign. And uh um, this baby is just like always, well, not always, sometimes you get stiffed, nice and glass. I just put your Route 66 license plate, but yeah, she came out pretty cool. I, a lot of times, sometimes I do, most of the time I do, sometimes I don't. I add that little fuel rail with the gauge on the side. It doesn't come with it, but I think it looks pretty cool on there. Interior's done up. Oh, I didn't get a NOS bottle in there, buddy. There was just nowhere to put it without it looking ridiculous. I mean, I could have put it down there behind the back seats, but you wouldn't even see it. It was like, yeah, why even put it in there? But the seat belts are done up. The dash, I gave you some of the new um, die-cast uh, die replicas, um, WW replica gauges. That he sent me which i need to contact jeff i still got i did get your decals um and i got your bodies and stuff sitting over there for you um but i i, I need to get a hold of you and see what i if i owe you anything for those um but anyway yeah there it is and i only made one and I, like i said i think the wheels just looked great on there so that's why i picked them out and um This came out good, but yeah, uh, Diecast Clown jumped right on that baby, so it's uh, already gone. So I, I was going to do it for a sticker drawing, but you know, that happens. Sometimes you guys reach out, hey, I want that car. I want that car. And I try to put them in a sticker drawing because I know a lot of you guys want them, but I also, like I said, I don't, I'm not trying to stop people from being able to just buy the car when they want the car. And, um, uh, so, you know, it is that. And so, like I said, these Mustangs I'm working on, I will say they're three different colors. Um, but one's going in sticker drawing. One, Steve, many, many Stangs already asked for, again, right off the bat, doesn't even know what it's going to look like. And, uh, and then there'll be one extra, um, that nobody's claimed yet. Um, again, these things are, like I said, I, I, I hope they come out right. I don't even, I got one body complete and painted and cleared and all, and it looks great, but I don't want to show it because I don't want to jinx myself on the rest of it. I got tons of work to do and, uh, haven't even got to the interiors yet, but, um, they are a lot guys. Um, these are, e these are hundred dollar cars easy. They should be more cause they're just too much guys. They're, they're a ton of work, but it's all good. I keep them at, you know, I'm staying at 100 still right now. Um, but on most of the stuff, this, these are ones that, I don't know, just when you start working on them, you could go, that's worth $300. But, you know, there's, there's this limit on what you want to pay for a little car, you know? I mean, I mean, and, and you know, it just is what it is, you know? So I just, uh, that's, that's why I try to just leave it at 100 and I don't really go over that. But like I said, it may get to where sooner or later, you know, I'm not covering shipping or something. I, I don't know. Right now that we're good, though. But I got one left. It's not shown yet. or They're not done yet. I'll show them when they're done. Um, I got a, the last body I'm working on. And right off the bat, I'll give you a hint. You got to shave them sides off. You got to shave it smooth. And, uh, and then you got to burr out the wheel wells up high. Um, so that's a little tip. So I kind of just started on this one. Haven't even cut the hood out yet, but I got two other ones. So anyway, those will be ready sooner or later. It's really hard working overtime, working Saturday.
to get anything done but I'm trying and uh, so anyway um, we'll go from there and uh, sorry to you guys thanks for support I'm sorry to you guys that didn't win um, and I didn't get packages sent out and it is I'm telling you this it is amazing how much just you know couple extra hours of overtime a day slam you man I got I can't get anything done I just I just think I think that we that's hard to explain um I think we were just raised different you know we were raised in a day where you get up in the sun and you go to the, you work all day like a dog till night and you go to bed I don't think that's life man I don't think it's really I can't blame these new generations now saying Phew! Screw you, I ain't doing that job. I mean, we can't get anybody at my job. They don't want to do this kind of work. It's hard. They don't want to build shit. They don't want to go through the mind process of well. They don't want to do this. Nobody does. They're all like, screw that. I'll go to Lowe's or Home Depot, sit around for 15, 20 bucks an hour and just do nothing. And I, I, I just don't think, you know, a lot of countries, the nicer ones, or people where they live better, I think it's Sweden or somewhere, you know, they work six hours a day, 30 hours a week. I know you may not think that much about that, but, and I didn't either, because I was always trained from such an early age, you just work like a dog, boy. You want to survive, work like a dog. You get out there and just work, and that's wrong. Your whole life goes by like that, and I assure you, you're not going to lay on your deathbed and say to yourself, damn, you know, I really wish I'd have just spent one more hour in the shop welding some shit up. You're not going to do that. Your life is gone. They've trained us to just work our lives away for somebody else. And I am so sick of it, man. It really is. And what my point was, you would be surprised what just cutting your hours does. Like, I can't tell you how much better life is when, okay, I normally work 7 to 3.30. Overtime is 6 to 4.30. Sometimes when it's hot, they'll allow us to do 6 to 2.30. It just depends. You know, It's funny how they just can't seem to get nobody there when you're doing 6 to 2.30. But we need to do overtime, 6 to 4.30? Oh, yeah, we can get somebody there open the building every fucking time. And, uh, yeah, I said effing because it's ridiculous. You're just showing your, your ass right there when you say you can't do it when it's hot as hell, but you can do it when you want overtime. Anyway. You'd be surprised how much nicer it is just working 6 to 2.30. Getting off at 2.30, you would be so... I mean, you wouldn't think that one hour would make such a difference in your life, but it does. It changes your mood so much. There's so many extra things you can do. You actually get off and it's still daylight. It's still... It's not even hard afternoon yet. You actually have some of your life back every day of your life. Whereas the other way, nope. We take it all from you. And it's really hard on you when you work in Midwest states or states where winters are a bitch because it's gray all day long anyway. It's a gloomy ass day all day long anyway. You go in in the dark, you come out in the dark. It just makes for a miserable life. Well, countries that some of the places that just work six hours a day, 30 hours a week, can you just imagine how much better your, you, your life would be? Now, some people say, oh, you wouldn't make enough money. No, 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 no. It's not the money. It's what you do with it. That, that comes from people always living to what they make instead of saying, I only need this. The rest is extra. Well, you know, we have a tendency, especially when we're younger, to use it all up. Oh, I make $1,000 a week. I can spend $1,000 a week. Well, once you do that, well, I, got, I got to put that on a five-year plan. I'm going to put that on a 30-year plan. I got that one on a seven-year plan because <clears throat> I make a thousand. Well, yeah. So now for seven, five, thirty years, you got to spend that thousand dollars a week to keep all that stuff. That's not a good idea. See, that's that's why. So, I mean, it's like they say: the more you make, the more you spend. Well, if you just get used to not doing that, you can work and live on thirty hours a week. But anyway, my point is, you're so much better. I can, I'd get so much more done. Just going back to 6 to 2.30, I could then come home and have more time in my my area to do my stuff down here and whatever else. It just, it's such a big thing. And we're just, we're just trained to work like animals. And your whole life is just gone. And while somebody else gets rich, you know, and, and they come in whenever they want. I mean... You know, it's just, it's amazing. So like I said, I, I don't, 
I get some of these kids today or whatever, you know, that are all confused and, um, you know, think it sucks. And in the way they're falling for communism because they think everything will be divided equally. That company will have to give me a, no, they, no, it won't work like that. What will happen is they'll still take all the money. You ain't going to get it. But, um, but my point is why I think a lot of these kids don't care now and they won't do this job is because, especially the past four years, you guys can say what you want, but Biden sucks balls. All right. We need Trump back in there. And I don't care if you guys hate me for saying it. You America first, guys, these millions of illegals need to get out of here. They're, they're giving them $10,000 a month or not a month. Um, a card. They're giving them a card, ten thousand dollars a month, or ten thousand dollars on it. But they're spending an average of seven grand a month on a lot of these people housing them. And 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 when you're not doing nothing for your own people, you're you're. You, this is just a big crock of shit, is what it is. And they are just destroying us. We need America. There was a process. There always was a process. This Biden administration is nothing more than BlackRock. BlackRock is running everything. And that's the moral of the story. You guys don't like it. It's the truth. All right. And and, and Biden sucks ass. And, and he's just a puppet doing exactly what they tell him to do. We need Trump in there to wipe this shit away. Why do you think they're trying so hard to get rid of him? And, and everywhere they, they say, it's about democracy. We want this country to be able to pick who they want to. Well, really? Have you been watching the news? Have you been watching everywhere Trump goes? Everybody's saying they want Trump. So why don't you sit down and shut up? Because you don't want democracy. The Democrats, BlackRock, the corporate entities want to control everything. Trump is the only one in the way of that. No matter what you believe, he's the only one in the way of that. And that's what we need, our country back. You don't cave into this shit. It just gets worse. And my point to all of this is, this is the reason why these stupid ass kids, especially the college ones that vote for people like Biden and stuff like that, don't understand their brains are scrambled. They complain on one hand about why they can't do nothing, but yet they're voting for the reason why they can't do nothing. And here's my point to that. Many of these kids now are still stuck living with mom in the basement. They're stuck at home. They can't leave. They can't afford to move out. You'll see some of them post videos when they get a job. This work a nine to five is ridiculous. I, I, I do it and I can't even pay my bills. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for voting for the guy you voted for. Duh. And, so, and this isn't just in one state. This is everywhere. You'll find some places that are better, but, but it's because of the government and what it's done. So now you th these kids can't even afford to have a car, an apartment, insurance. You know, they, they can't do it. So they just stay at home with mom. And once they get used to that, they're just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to stay at home with mom. I'm going to work at Lowe's for 15, 20 bucks an hour. I'm going to pay for my car and mom's going to be cool with it. And they have no more incentive than that. And just sit there. And, and when you put somebody up against a losing battle, you can't blame them all for just saying, I'm done. I had it. I ain't got a chance of winning anyway. I give up. And that's what's happening. You just can't afford. My kids fight to survive. My, my The cheapest apartments they can find are like $1,300 a month. But pay doesn't cover that. I mean, there's nobody paying you enough to pay that shit. Because you got to have cars and everything else, all your utilities. So they fight to get this done. You know, and like I said... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just wanted to say that's that's what's going on with all of it. And it's all back to this process they got us living in. And and I would have gave up, you know, I just like I said, I'm just was raised different, older like you guys. So we were just raised to just do it. You just get out there and do it, boy. If you don't, somebody else will. You know, and nowadays, no, they won't. <laughs> you can't get nobody at my job. They all said, screw you. I ain't doing that shit. Even the people that come in two or three days, because it's hard work, guys. It's hard work. And uh, it, they're like, piss on this, man. <laughs> I ain't doing that. So, but yeah, this, we got to stop that crap. Give me one good reason why we send $200 billion to Ukraine and our borders are wide open. I am so sick of that, Zelensky. Why, and do your research. Do you know that, what a coincidence, four years ago, Zelensky wasn't worth dog shit. Look at him now. He's worth over $500 million right now. Bought several yachts. All this property he's buying during a war. The, what the hell are you talking about, dude? 
You're supposed to be at war fighting and you're buying yachts. And you're now all of a sudden, since you're in with the Biden administration, worth $500 million in, in what a coincidence, the past four years. Nobody finds that odd. <laughs> well, I'm going to say it. And I don't care if there's any Ukrainians out there that don't like it. Piss on Ukraine. Give a shit about Ukraine. Take care of America, man. Sick of this shit. Sorry, I just tell it like it is. You guys already know that. And most of you agree. Some of you are afraid to say it. Some of you aren't. Well, I'll say it. I don't give a shit. Anyway, hopefully Trump gets in there and cleans his shit up. Because I'm sick of it, man. Totally sick of it. Democrats are crooks. And anybody out there that can't see that now, well, you're just dumber than dog shit. All right? And that's a fact. I'm going to bust open Steve's. Because... Many things. Because, um, first off, I want to try to get some packages wiped out here. But he said he was going to send me some sterling protectors. Um, because I was going to, I mentioned I was going to buy some. And, um, it's kind of funny because I had mentioned to my wife that I need to get some more sterling protectors. And then Steve sends me some. Or he tells me he's going to send me some because he has a lot. I'm like, wow, that's cool. You don't have to do that, but I appreciate it. And, um, so I'm pretty sure that's what's in this big ass box is a bunch of sterling protectors. But then, um, I, I came home the next day and I told my wife, Hey, um, uh, Steve, many stangs is sending me some sterling protectors. And she said, Oh, I just ordered 24. So she ordered 24 sterling, just a box of 24. And uh, so now it came in, I got a box of 24 over there. Plus Steve just sent me some. And, uh, so anyway, uh, since that's all that's pretty much in here, um, We'll just go ahead and open that and get this get this one out of the way. And uh, well, okay, no, I guess my mistake. Um, that's not all that's in here. Dang, dude, you didn't have to send that. I, I dang, you ain't gonna believe what you sent. Yeah, buddy, like I said, that was too nice. Yeah, he did ask me about this, and I was like, oh, that's too nice. I can't ask you to send me that. He said he had some extra ones of these, and he'd send me one. Oh, dang, buddy. Check it out. It's the Gulf Hona truck. Dang, that baby is a beauty. I like Gulf. I like Shell. I like, you know, I like them, but, um... I like the other Huna truck. It is so awesome looking. Um, but this is a sweet one looking too. Look at that. Dang, Steve. You didn't have to do that. Golly, that baby is nice. Yeah, I'm opening that up and taking it up to my display case in a moment. Thanks, buddy. Dang, man. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, uh, uh, like I said, I, I was, like I told you, man, that's too nice, man. It can't, can't ask you to be giving me that. Um, I'm keeping that bubble wrap. <laughs> anyway, I do see a bunch of sterling protectors, but it looks like he sent some cars, too. I wonder if these are, like, um, so like, you know, more custom stuff. Do I need to do customs? Oh, check it out. I just did. I just went through three or four Mustangs, and I just got some more. Now, this green one. Oh, sure. I don't remember ever grabbing the green one. Maybe I got it somewhere and just don't know it. But, yeah, he just sent me some more. So, I just replenished the four I just used right there. Another... Piece of bubble wrap. Got some more cars here. Dang, buddy. I thought this was just going to be some sterling protectors. Oh, cool. Oh, dude, I don't have that. I'm going to have to just keep that because I don't have it. Little Red Truck Express. I told y'all guys, I will still be keeping certain Hot Wheels. Usually trucks and hot rods, stuff like that. I don't have the little Red Express. And I remember when this truck came out. The, the real truck. I remember that. I was like, dang, that's a cool little truck. Yep. 
little red express truck. Of course, this is a Valentine. This isn't actually the real little red express. Be my, will you be my Valentine? <laughs> what a trip. Well, that's cool. I don't have that, so I'll just keep that. Then, uh, two more of the Godzillas, which I just used up. I just did customs with those. They're gone. Cool. Another Cyclone. Put that with my Brazil. The 935 Porsche. I haven't really done one of these, I don't believe. No, not the 935. So check that out. We've got another little batch here. The cars. Let's see what we got here. Oh, check that out. Your short card. Ford Lightning Custom in red. I don't have that one either. Let's keep that. Oh, a few short cards. Dang, I don't have any of these. Hang on, definitely. I wonder if we bought the 50 pack from Target. I think the 50 pack from Target has short cards in it. Yeah, I'll keep that too. That looks better. I, that looks good. That's cool. I like the blue one, but I like that one. Definitely would be keeping that. And uh, short card T1 Volkswagen pickup truck. Check that out. Don't have that either. I have a few of these extra because I made some super cool customs out of them. Well, I made one. The one I gave Paco has the engine sticking up out of the bed. Came up right. I need to make some more. I got them up there. I just haven't made them yet. Um, oh, and another Mustang SVO. That's what I used for his car. Except I think I used the blue one. I think I used the blue one. Anyway, that's the same one. Yeah, it was actually the S SVO is what I used. And another 65 Mustang. Yeah, wait till you see them, guys. They look pretty good. Well, so, so far. Yeah, buddy, you sent me a, a bunch of them here. A bunch of... And these Sterling Protectors, they're good, man. I mean, they're thick. Um, dang, man. Sent me a lot. Oh, shoot, man. Dang, he probably sent me 20 at least himself. Definitely got a lot of those. But yeah, these Sterling Protectors, man, they're... i to get them out of here. Anyway, they're pretty thick. They're, um... They're pretty good. I mean, nice and thick, pop together real good. So thanks, buddy. Yeah, I definitely like that. Yeah, I got plenty of these now. Yeah, if you order, I think it's, if you order, because they come in, the more you order, the cheaper you get. I think, I don't remember, it seems like a pack of 24, they come out to like, a dollar something a piece, a dollar thirty, a dollar forty, something like that a piece. And you know, you order forty-eight, you get them even cheaper. So that's not a bad price for, um, you know, a, 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 a case to put your castings that you want to protect in. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do something with those because. There's a lot of them there now. And, uh, like I said, I got a box over there from Diecast Clown. And I still got to get to Tut Man. Um, 34 minutes. Well, you guys are probably cruising. Uh, and I got one here from 
like I said, I got one here from Mr. Deavers. I didn't have any idea it was coming. But uh, anyway, um, I don't know. Maybe you guys will hang around. Um, let's see here. I got. That over there, some cash rolling. Yep, this is from Diecast Clown. Yep, yep, see? Sitting in one. Sweet. Sweet. Keep that. Find somewhere to put this stuff. Oh, and that. That's pretty, that's right. I remember asking about that. That one is sweet. I get some just trucks. I used to get all of them. I don't anymore, but look at that. 85 square body, Silverado. Nice one. I would definitely get that. That one is sweet. Cool. I'll keep the bag, too. Oh, yeah, the Sweetheart truck. Check that out. Silverado. Sweet. Oh, it's the box. I was wondering what's wobbling around there. And the Sweetheart Funny Car. Right on. I actually got one of those from uh, Black Wolf Customs too. Actually, I think he got. I got two of them in this package. And, uh, which I was going to ask Mr. Proust, do you have that? Did you get that funny car? Because I wanted to send you one of those, Mr. Proust, if you didn't have that uh, funny car. And also, um, I know... Oh, you know what? Yeah, um, Joe. Joe Luz. Joe Luz. Mr. Deemable. What about you? Because I haven't sent your um, javelin off yet because I wanted to send something to you. I, ha I, also, I have another one of these. And one of these. Do you like these funny cars? Because I could send you one of these each if you like. Um, that'll give me something else to put with your package. Let me know. Let me know. And then we got something in a bag here. Let's put them in bags. Um, oh, yeah, that Monster Jam 4x4 Walmart truck. Pretty cool. The Walmart truck. Sam Walton's. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to be. There's his dog kennels. Yeah. Pretty cool. I forgot about that one, buddy. Sweet. Dang, where am I going to put this stuff? Where am I going to put it? Set it over here for now. We got... Yeah, that's a Firebird, buddy. The Sammy Hagar. Yeah, that's a Firebird. Trans Am. That's not a Camaro. That's cool, though. Check it out. Pretty sure. I mean, it's definitely not a Camaro. You can see by the front. It's a Pontiac. It's a Firebird or a Trans Am. You can see right there. That's a Pontiac. You can kind of tell from the back as well. Sammy Hagar is pretty cool though. Sammy Hagar, Red Rocket Racing Champions. The Red Rocket. Looks like the hood opens on it. Hey, that's cool, buddy. Check it out. Sweet. Got mirrors on it and everything. That's cool. Thanks, buddy. Whoops. And I think this is here is some... Yeah, some castings he was going to send me so I could try to do maybe some customs in those. Um, it was the panel. 
Um, I used the other one for my Chucky and my uh, Pennywise. I used the 55, but this is a 64. I just don't know if it'll look as good as the 55, but I figured I'd try it anyway. Looks like you sent me three of those. So those will be saved for customs. And uh, we'll try that out. And then, keep this bubble wrap. Yeah, the Chevy Nova SS Fast and Furious. I haven't compared it. I have the other one, the first one. I'm thinking it's the same. I'm thinking they just put it in another package, but it may be a little different. I'll have to compare it to the older one. Maybe the wheels are different or something, but it looks the same to me. Anyway, got that baby. So sweet. Appreciate it, buddy. We'll do um, Deavers and Tutman at a different time. Tutman's probably like, come on, dude, my, car, my package's been sitting there waiting. But yeah, I'll get them open. Um, anyway, I better shut this video off. It's getting too long. So we'll do Mr. Deavers and Tut... Whoops, sorry. Bang. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, we'll do Deavers and Tutman um, next time. And like I said, I'll let you guys know when I get these customs done. Like I said, there's one left. And, and the colors are, um, well, I don't know yet. Two of them are painted, but the other one I haven't painted yet. I got a, a I don't know yet. Because I haven't decided which one I'm going to put in the sticker drawing. So I probably should wait. Because I need to decide which one I want to put in a sticker drawing. Um, I was going to put an emerald green. I was doing emerald green on one of them in the sticker drawing. And that leaves a blue one, a, a, kind of a midnight blue, and a pink one. Uh, like the candy striper pink. And, uh, but the emerald green, like this Porsche, is the one I was going to put in the sticker drawing. Uh, but I haven't painted it yet because I haven't decided if I'm going to use that color. I don't know. We'll see. I better wait until they're done before I talk about it. So anyway, um, I'm going to let you guys go. Congratulations to everybody. Um, Mr. Luz, let me know about that. Do you do you like these two funny cars? I can send you. I got an extra one of each. I can add it to your package. And um, Mondo, let me know about that. If you like that or not, and uh, I'll save it for you. Send it to you with some of my Volkswagens, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate all the packages here. Um, dang, thanks for that Huna truck. Steve, can't believe you sent me that. That's a nice one. Whew. All right, and uh, thanks Diecast Clown for all these cars. Y'all take it easy. I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up and then get back to work on these cars, try to get something done. And uh, I'll let you know next time I put something in the sticker drawing. These customs won't be ready for a bit. I do have some more RLC cards that might end up in the sticker drawing. I've got some. Uh, they're special ones I came across. Somebody was getting rid of them. They're all in great shape. And uh, uh, I didn't get like a deal on them really. I mean, I got them a little cheaper than you'd get them on eBay, but... They, they, were, they weren't cheaper than what you'd buy them for from RLC. But the guy needed money. 
and so I, I know you know I just wanted to help him so I got I gave him basically what he paid for him and uh, a little bit more but uh, um, but again some of them on eBay are worth more than that but I don't sell crap on eBay so I figured I'll just take them and I'll put them in a sticker drawing and let guys get them that maybe didn't get them you know for sticker drawing so anyway I'll let you know when I got some of those up on there anyway thanks again everybody hope you have a good Sunday and Peace. Outro.